In this video, we will be showing how to use the Save as New feature from within SolidWorks Connected and SolidWorks Desktop with the 3D Experience Connector. To begin, open the upper level assembly of the file set you would like to save as new. You don't need to worry about opening any reference drawings as long as they're saved to the 3DX platform. I'll show why shortly. From here, make sure any changes that have been made to the current files are saved before starting the Save as New operation. When you're ready, right-click on the upper-level assembly in the My Session panel, then select Save as New. Once selected, a small dialog will appear allowing you to change the title of the new assembly file to be created. When working with larger, more complex assembly structures, there may be times when you need to also save internal components and drawings as new files. For this, we will select Show References. In order to keep the parts, drawings, and assemblies properly referenced in the new set of files, the Save as New feature allows you to select which will be saved as new or reused. The files that are saved as new will have any references in the other files updated to this new version, while the reused files will not create any new data but will simply keep the same old components referenced in the new file set. Now, we will select the Include Drawings checkbox. If there are any drawings that reference any of the files being saved as new, the tool will automatically find those files from the cloud and add them to your list of components to be duplicated. As a best practice, we recommend waiting until after you've selected which parts or assemblies to be saved as new or reused before selecting Include Drawings. This will save the step of selecting only the drawings for parts you want to create new versions of. Once all of this is selected, the last thing you need to do is give any of the files we are creating new versions of an, a new or updated title. You have the option to add a prefix or suffix from the icons at the top by simply selecting the titles you want to add them to and hitting apply. You can select all or many boxes at the same time using your standard selection shortcuts. Lastly, you can customize each of the titles individually by clicking the text box and editing its contents. Once you're satisfied with your selections, go ahead and hit save. This will begin the duplication process for these files, and once completed, should offer you a Save with Options dialog for all of the new data. From here, you can select the collaborative space and bookmarks for all or each individual file, then click Save to have the newly created data saved to your 3DX platform. All of the new data that you've just created now lives in your platform, completely separate from the previous files. A good use case for this tool would be if you have a file set as a starting point for all new designs with some standard components and drawings already pre-populated. This can save you the time of creating all new designs, creating new sub-assemblies with drawing files, and relinking drawings and part files together. 